What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Dylan from FieldStrengthAthletics.com and today I got a special video for you guys. My secrets to strength, my three tips for long-term progress in the gym. Let's get to the video. Now before we get too far here, these are not quick fixes. You won't be adding 50 pounds to your bench press in three months here. These are tips to add to your programming or the way that you do your workouts that will help long term and build up strength slowly and progressively over time. These are not quick fixes. With that being said, let's get to the tips. All right, tip number one, back work. Use back work. Now, when I say back work, you're probably thinking lat pull downs and dumbbell bent over rows. While those are part of the program, this is not what we're talking about here. Uh, number one, when it comes to the tip, you need to be doing heavy upper back work. Progress your barbell bent over rows or dumbbell bent over rows, just like you do your main squat bench deadlift, where you're hitting something heavy like a two to five reps in a set. So that way your back gets strong and keeps up with your deadlifts and your squats and your bench. So that way the upper back isn't the limiting factor in your lift. Uh, the second part of this tip is doing the lower back work. Things like heavy good mornings, heavy reverse hypers, um, or heavy weighted back extensions. Something like this where it works your lower back and glutes with it's a heavy weight will help you stay in position throughout your squat, throughout your deadlift, and will also help your back feel strong throughout your sets and training, not just on the platform. All right, tip number two, learn your layups, practice your layups. Now, it'll be no surprise to you guys that I am not necessarily a great basketball player. I'm only five foot six and three quarters. That being said, I like to use this analogy with my clients or people that I'm helping out in the gym. We, when we first start, we wanna learn how to shoot a layup. We wanna learn the simple stuff that we need to do, which is our volume work, which is our practice and our form. It is high reps, low intensity, learning the basics. Then we can get into shooting a three-pointer. Then we can get into the smaller details. Then we can do the high intensity work once we've practiced our layup. The problem that we see is that people stay in their high intensity, low volume work for years almost. They stay in this very, very high intensity and never come back and learn your layups. Guys, we are not all Steph Curry. We can't all shoot the three pointer all day long. We need to learn the layups. And that is tip number two. Work your volume, come back to your layups. These layups or this high volume, low intensity work is uh, part of the training block where you're gonna increase your lean mass, you're going to improve your skill set or your form in the squats, and on top of that, you're gonna increase your workload capacity and your ability to recover in between sets, which can come in handy when you get to your high intensity, low volume work. All of this can work gradually into your high intensity work. Um, now, with that being said, the more advanced you are, the less high volume work you're going to need. Whereas people in the intermediate level might suffice with say eight week blocks or 10 week blocks in hypertrophy and high volume practicing their layups. When you get to the more advanced steps or advanced places in powerlifting and strongman, you've hopefully already been here. You've already done your high volume work for a, a rather long time and you have all the lean mass you need. You already have really good form that your squat, deadlift, bench, overhead press, whatever it is. You have all these skill sets already so you can spend less time. So instead of those six, eight weeks, maybe even 10 weeks, you can be down in a hypertrophy block or a high volume block for three to four weeks, how maybe even two if you really just don't need it, but it's a nice break from the monotony sometimes. Um, you can come back to these layups as long as you're not like in these super advanced stages. And let's be honest with ourselves, we aren't all that strong. There's very few people out there that are having over 2,000 pound total that can't, that maybe won't um, see as much contribution from a high volume block as the most possible. We are, like those people are a minority of the lifters out there. The majority of us will see better results from going back to hypertrophy block every once in a while. In other words, y'all weak. Oh! All right, tip number three, 
add variety to your programming. So once you're past your initial beginner phase where all you need is straight weight on the bar practicing your form with a squat, bench, and deadlift, you've got to start adding variety to your lifts. This straight weight on the bar will only progress you so much before you get too fatigued, especially with how heavy a lot of you are able to go in the intermediate phase. This doesn't allow for recovery. So what we've got to do is start adding variety to focus on some of the weak points also to uh, work with workload capacity and your ability to recover and the damage you're doing through your central nervous system. And then also, let's face it, you get bored of doing squat, bench, and deadlift every damn day. Now, this only works in the hypertrophy and strength block. When you're in a peak block, you should be practicing what your lifts are in competition. In the hypertrophy and strength blocks though, you can start changing things out every three to six weeks if you're intermediate. And the more advanced you get, the more frequently you can actually change your variety of lifts during your hypertrophy and strength blocks. Um, those are something that's been popularized a lot by say that conjugate system where they're changing every one to two weeks for the more advanced people. Um, but that doesn't quite work for a lot of the intermediate levels. Um, but driving variety to help out with some of your sticking points. So adding stuff like the bands, block pulls, um, iso pulls, high block pulls, um, deficit deadlifts, high bar squats, pause squats, tempo squats, uh, all those implemented also into the bench press. When used appropriately and not just changing willy nilly, but with a plan, that variety will help drive strength through the roof. Ah, willy. <laughs> All right, guys, those are the three tips, the secrets to strength and long-term progress in the gym. Back work, add variety, and learn your layups. Those are the big three. If you start adding those to your programming and your training intelligently with a plan, you will see progress as long as it makes sense. If you guys have any questions about how to implement these into your programming, email me, I'll leave it down in the description below. It is fieldstrengthandathletics at gmail.com or you can reach me at fieldstrengthathletics.com as well. Um, right on guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below if you've started to implement any of these rules or tips into your programming and if it helped you and maybe there's some variety that you like out there or a different lift that you like, go ahead and add those to the comments down below as well. It helps this video get out there and so we can reach more people so more people can get strong. All right, guys, go out. Have a wonderful rest of your week. I'll see you guys on the other side. Peace.